Hello there, philosophy enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting exploration into the depths of philosophical thought. Today, we're embarking on a grand journey, diving into the rich, intricate universe of Aristotle's philosophy, with a particular focus on his concept of causality. First off, who was Aristotle? Well, born in 384 BC, he was an ancient Greek philosopher who studied under the famous philosopher Plato and tutored Alexander the Great. His philosophical investigations spanned a wide range of topics, from biology to ethics, metaphysics to politics. Today, however, our primary focus is his revolutionary concept of causality. Causality, in a nutshell, is about the why of things. Aristotle was deeply interested in why things are the way they are, why they change, and why they aim for certain ends or goals. To answer these whys, Aristotle proposed a fourfold framework of causes, the material, formal, efficient, and final causes. Imagine you're looking at a beautiful marble statue. The marble, the raw material of the statue, is what Aristotle would call the material cause. The shape or form that the marble takes, the image of a person or animal it represents, that's the formal cause. The sculptor who skillfully chiseled the marble into that form, that's the efficient cause. And the reason or purpose for which the statue was made, perhaps to honor a hero or a god, that's the final cause. Aristotle saw these four causes at work in everything from the natural world to human behavior. For him, understanding these causes is key to understanding the world and our place in it. This perspective offers a unique lens through which to view our lives and the world around us. It invites us to see not just what things are but why they are, what they could become, and how they fit into the larger tapestry of life. It's a perspective that fosters curiosity, deepens understanding, and enriches appreciation. Now let's briefly dive into how Aristotle's causality has influenced contemporary philosophy and science. From shaping medieval theology to illuminating modern ethical discussions, the echoes of Aristotle's causality are evident in many areas. Even in the realm of artificial intelligence, researchers explore Aristotle's causality as a framework for understanding how an artificial intelligence system could learn and adapt. So, there you have it. A quick dive into Aristotle's concept of causality. But remember, philosophy is not just about understanding ideas, it's about letting those ideas change us. So let's take Aristotle's causality not just as a topic of study, but as an invitation to view the world with curiosity, seek understanding with persistence, and live our lives with a sense of purpose. And one last thing before we part ways, dear philosophy enthusiasts. If your curiosity has been kindled and you want to delve deeper into the fascinating world of Aristotle's philosophy and his concept of causality, I've got great news for you. We've authored a comprehensive yet accessible book titled Unraveling the Threads of Existence, a deep dive into Aristotle's concept of causality. It unpacks Aristotle's philosophy in a way that's easy to understand, engaging, and most importantly, relevant to our everyday life. 